the uh, Foundation for Shamanic Studies has a, a wealth of information on the contemporary practice of shamanism, core shamanism, as pioneered by Michael Harner. Um, uh, many of you may have come across his book, The Way of the Shaman. So back in 1980, uh, he really started a worldwide renaissance. He, with that book, uh, the, a great resurgence of interest uh, happened for shamanic work so that today we have many, many people who are interested um, in what is shamanism and also in the practice of it, practice of it for, in some senses for their own benefit, but also the practice of it to help heal others. And so I would suggest that if you're interested in more about this, there are many articles, videos, and things like that on our website. So I would advise you to take a look at that. Now, we're going to be talking about what we call our advanced residential programs, which are the two-week and three-year. Shamanism is an experiential practice, and we can talk all day about what it is, but until you've had a chance to experience it, it's difficult to know the power of it. Okay, so again, as I said, welcome. I'm Susan Mulkelke. For those of you who joined late, I'm the president of the Foundation for Shamanic Studies, and I'm here with Amanda Folger who is a very experienced shamanic practitioner and one of our key faculty members for the foundation. So please uh, please uh, chip in, uh, uh, Amanda, and say what you'd like to say as introductory remarks. These are residential programs, so I think it's kind of important just to say that out front. Um, and uh, all the other weekend workshops are not uh, residential. So this is a kind of rare opportunity to come together in community with a group of people and do very intensive work. Um, and there's a different focus on the two-week, focus primarily on teaching healing methods, the core healing methods of shamanic practice. Um, and uh, the three-year is more focused on really taking your practice further, deeper. Uh, yes, there will be healing methods, but again, shamanic practice is focused on empowerment practices and ways to connect with the power of the spirits for our lives and our well-being and our health. Um, and our learning and our growth um, and also divination getting answers to questions and also healing work so those are the broad categories of shamanic practice two week is principally focused on healing but we do do some divination work we do do some other practices as well and the three year is a great mixture of, of all those things but taken at an advanced level one of the things i wanted to say is just the two week is a very comprehensive uh, experience. And um, so not only is it an immersion experience because you're there with a group of people, the same group of people for about 10 days of time. And uh, so it's, you're having six hours of meetings every day, except for one during the course of the program. And um, so all the pieces kind of fit together of the different methods of healing and the general kind of paradigm in which we work uh, in the core shamanic work. So we're not doing cultural shamanism, we're doing uh, core shamanism, meaning that we want to make connections with spirits, but we don't tell you which spirits are gonna do what and which spirits you're supposed to connect with other than to give you, yes, there's helping and healing spirits in other realities that we can connect with. And who those spirits are gonna be is for you to discover. So it's, we don't give you a program about that. Um, and in taking uh, programs piecemeal or learning practices piecemeal, you don't get so much the holistic uh, view. And this is a holistic practice uh, for sure. So uh, the kind of comprehensive nature of the program and the holistic uh, approach, I think together in a residential program kind of provides maximum uh, learning opportunities. And out of that, I think you maybe begin to develop a little bit uh, larger worldview. And I think that's a lot of what Michael has been interested in, you know, we, we are in a point where we really need to understand it's one life that we're all living each in our own kind of individual ways. That's something that shamans have known um, from, you know, earliest times. When I got into the two week program, it really pulled the pieces together for me, where I realized, oh, learning all these methods, these are ways of getting information, help and healing for myself, but it's also more profoundly ways of bringing help and healing and information to others with the spirit's support. So there's this incredible sense of deep support and deep participation. And also the, I think perhaps uh, stepping into maybe our responsibility as humans, what do we wanna offer? What's the gift we wanna to give to life? 
as well as the gift that's been given to us. Amanda touched on it, and I sometimes forget because I've been so familiar with it now, uh, methods of core shamanism, which are the universals, near universals, and common practices of shamans worldwide, meaning that uh, Michael, from his experience and experimentation, distilled the, the commonalities that are universal and common to, to shamans around the world and put them in a package that people can learn. The programs address uh, psychopomp work, learning something about the experiences beyond life, um, what happens after we die, those kinds of questions. We do that in the Dying and Beyond uh, workshop. We do, again, divination practices, and again, healing methods. All of these things will be continuations in the three-year program, but again, the initiatory experiences are quite specific to this, the three-year, um, and these are things we uh, do, do not discuss uh, in public. These are things, you know, we have a, a confidentiality about these practices. Talking about a practice is quite different than doing a practice. And it tends to disempower uh, our relationships with the spirits and also the power of the, what really occurs for us when we kind of talk casually about these things. Um, and it's really important to respect there are these kinds of uh, boundaries, which I think are very important ones uh, in shamanic practice. Out in, in terms of ethics, we mean we don't do practices for or about other people without their permission or knowledge. And that's a very you know, just a, a bottom line principle. Yes, very, very, very nice. Thank you. And uh, just to, to add to the the information about the three year program, um, uh, it is a very profound initiation into developing the strength, the strength and power of your connections with the spirits. One of the wonderful things that I found about shamanism is, is that we, we refer to it as an independent spirituality. Uh, Michael Harner has referred to it as a democratic spirituality. The idea meaning that each person has, if you will, the power and, the, uh, and with knowledge and training has, their, has an ability to get their own answers from these spiritual realms and, and interacting with the spirits. And so that is a very important uh, part of the process that we're talking about is, is that uh, it's an independent thing. And so shamans throughout time have been referred to as uh, those who know. A shaman is one who knows or one who sees. And so what we're after is helping you to be one of those who knows and who sees for yourself so that you're, you have power then. You have power, understanding, and knowledge which you can use in um, the ways that will help work in your life, okay? I think um, the other value of being in a group is that we do have opportunities to share our experiences. We have opportunities for questions and answers about our experiences. So the learning is, uh, you know, exponentially a lot more than if you were doing this by yourself. Um, and that's and also the power is is more because everybody brings their own spiritual connections into the community. People get interested in these programs sometimes because they did they just want a, a a private personal form of spiritual practice. You know the ones that are more out there that are organized or maybe not so appealing, and that they want to have their own experiences spiritually. And shamanism is that's a great path for you if if, if that's what you're interested in. Um, and others sometimes have a very strong sense of calling. Uh, hey, I really got to do this. I know I have something to offer and to give, and I need to learn, I need to train so that I can do this in a responsible and in a good way. And, um, and then often there's a combination of things. And sometimes we get a lot of people in the programs who are already in a helping and healing profession and maybe want to learn something of the spiritual dimension of healing. Um, and, uh, and then other times people come from all walks of life. So there's a, a great variety of people in the programs. Uh, and that's part of what makes it interesting, too. There's also a Pacific Northwest program, which I teach, um, right. which is done in a two-week format. So you have two intensive <laughs> weeks, and then you have a year between to do, if you will, your homework assignments. And as Amanda was saying, the homework really is for you to develop. And we've had people who spend, if you will, minimal time, um, is certainly minimal time writing it up, but the, the homework takes the assignments and the initiations and the experiences that you've had during the session and allows you to, it helps you to integrate them, really. We do meet together three times a day uh, in the large group, uh, usually about two hour chunks. Uh, we have 
these optional times when you can come, it's great. You can take a break, you can have some rest, you can take a walk, you can do what you want to do, or you can come and say, hey, I want to practice more about what I learned about extraction healing. Um, I want to be able to do that. Or I feel I need extraction healing. Then there is somebody there you can go and see, so you can both give and receive. There's no rehearsals in shamanism. It's all just doing. That's really what it is. As when we say it's an experiential practice, that's exactly what we mean. So, um, you know, this is really about, yeah, you learn a method, then you want to practice and you want to see how effective that work is. And you want to see what people experience. Uh, and you yourself, uh, it's strongly recommended that everybody give and receive uh, any kind of healing method that they, uh, that they, you know, that they're learning so that you, you really get it, what the power of the practice is as a practitioner and also as a patient, what happens for you. Uh, what was your experience of it? So those things are very important. So the pacing is, uh, I think, giving you opportunities to have your meal times, to have some break times, some breathing spaces, and then we have a small break kind of in the middle of the two-week program. It's about a day where uh, we have nothing programmed, where you can, you know, relax a little bit, and then we come back into the program and finish. If you feel like you don't have your question answered and you would and you're really interested in the program, then um, you can email um, me, uh, Susan, through the foundation. Just email info at shamanism.org and we will um, I'll either pass your question on to, to Amanda or if it's a simple one, I'll try to answer it. So if you feel like you didn't get it answered, but you really like to know more, um, we're, we're available for that. We want you to feel comfortable if you decide to register for these programs because they are a very important life-changing kind of commitment. As we do a great variety of, of practices and of journeys and of different kinds of experiences, particularly in the three-year program. And sometimes people have a very, very profound egoless experience of, that may be short-lived or it may be something that is, you know, really changes their lives forever. We don't uh, you know, have an expectation that that's going to happen, but we're prepared that it might happen. And it does sometimes happen for people. And uh, I think usually when it happens, it's, it's a gift. Uh, and you get a sense of, of real oneness, um, you know, with all that is. And um, that method, uh, you know, that uh, message of unity and harmony is a big one. It's very simple and it's very profound. And when you get to experience it on a very deep level, uh, you know, it can really change, you know, your life considerably. But we don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, but we certainly are aware that it might and we're prepared for it. I, I kind of think this touching on this, you know, the conditional and the unconditional realities, which is really, you know, the art and practice of shamanism is to learn how to negotiate <laughs> in both of those uh, arenas. And uh, I think these programs give you an opportunity to have those kinds of experiences and to really understand more about, yeah, what is it to have unconditional love? What is it to have power available to really make changes in a person's life um, or, you know, in some other uh, arena where help or healing or, or information and guidance uh, might be needed. So uh, it, it's humbling and it's super inspiring <laughs> to be able to uh, have, you know, touch on those kinds of, of uh, awarenesses that is not just, you know, book learning, but it's something that you really actually experience for yourself. And um, it's, uh, you know, a, a privilege as far as I'm concerned to be part of, um, you know, the foundation's work. Um, I think Michael has done something that is uh, wonderful for our world. And I hope that those of you who are interested will come and join us in the weekend workshops and the longer programs. Um, and um, thank you. Thanks a lot, everybody, for coming on board today. Thank you all very much. And uh, uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. We hope to see many of you again soon. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. I'm going to sign off now. Bye-bye, um, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>